Ito ang tanong ko sa'yo, Ali. Paano mag-add or mag-link ng bank account sa Google AdSense? Uulitin ko lang ang tanong ni Thanos, which is how to add or link your bank account sa Google AdSense. Kung yan rin ang tanong mo, then ito ang ating video tutorial for today. By the way, ako nga pala si Alan De Leon and welcome to Alan Online TV. If you're new to my channel and you would like to grow your YouTube channel, make money online, and build your online brand, then consider subscribing. Paki click na rin yung bell notification, pati na rin yung all, so you won't miss any of our video tips, tricks, and tutorials. Katulad ng video na to. So, why don't we get started? According to Google AdSense, Western Union will no longer be available when choosing your form of payment. As of August 10, 2020, you will no longer be able to select Western Union as a new form of payment. We recommend that publishers currently using Western Union switch to another available payment method before payments through Western Union stop in early of 2021. So, 2021 na ngayon. Last month, January 20, 2021, nakapag-withdraw pa ako ng aking earnings sa Western Union. So, now it's February 2021. Gusto ko na siyang i-switch sa aking bank account. So, kung ikaw rin, gusto mo na mag-switch sa bank account mo para matanggap mong earnings mo sa YouTube mo, then, eksaktong eksakto itong video tutorial na to para sa'yo. Kung wala ka pang bank, then I highly recommend three banks na alam kong siguradong okay i-link sa Google AdSense. Number one is BDO, number two is BPI, and number three is Union Bank. For this video tutorial, ang gagamitin ko ay yung aking BDO account, specifically BDO Kabayan Savings. Kung wala ka pang bank account, yan ang kunin mo, yung BDO Kabayan Savings. Now, bakit? Kasi it only costs like 100 pesos to open this account. Hindi lang yun, bibigyan ka lang ng passbook, meron ka na ring ATM Debit Mastercard. Yes, Debit Mastercard. Pwede mo pang gamitin yung pang shopping online kung gusto mong magbili sa Lazada, sa Shopee. So, magagamit mo yan. By the way, hindi to sponsor ng video, pero video, if you're watching and listening, then pwede naman. <laughs> Anyway, so, let me continue. Ang maganda rito is zero maintaining balance. Yes, zero maintaining balance. And uh, may isa lang requirement, which is yung at least one, uh, one remittance within two years. Okay? So, ang ganda gawin natin, mag-iiwan ako ng link dyan, dyan sa description. So, you will have more information if you want to know more about BDO Kabayan Savings. So, sa ngayon, let's head over sa computer screen ko para malink ko na itong aking bank account, which is BDO Kabayan Savings, sa Google AdSense ko. Okay, so if you're ready, which I think you are, then let's go! Here we are sa computer screen ko. So, ngayon, punta na tayo sa... Google AdSense. Click natin. There you go. And click natin ito. Okay. So, follow my cursor. Mag-sign in na tayo. Okay. So, eting cursor ko. Nasa Google Ads AdSense na tayo. So, dito tayo pupunta sa Payments. Click natin yung Payments. Okay. So, Punta tayo dito sa how you get paid. So, sa ngayon, ang existing ko is sa Western Union ko na receive ang aking mga earnings sa aking YouTube channel. Now, gagawin natin, papalitan na natin to at para ma-add at ma-link ko yung aking bank account. So, dito tayo sa manage payment methods. Click natin. So, ito yung primary ko na ginagamit. So, papalitan na natin yan. Mag-add tayo dito sa add payment method. We're in. Dito natin i-add at ililink yung aking bank account which is BDO. Click natin. Ayan. You have two options. It's either you add your bank. Ito yung add new wire transfer details. Or kung gusto mo, check in naman ipadala sa'yo ang earnings mo. So, I highly discourage na wag itong check <laughs> kasi baka matagal yan dumating <laughs> mas mabilis pag ikaw ay may banko para i-wire transfer na lang kaagad sa bank mo okay so click natin itong add new wire transfer as you can see may 
mga information siyang uh, kailangan. So, yung beneficiary ID, optional lang naman to. So, not necessarily, hindi mo kailangan fill up yan. So, name on bank account. So, ibig lang sabihin niyan, if you click it, enter your full name as shown on your bank statement. So, kung ikaw yung owner ng bank, then write your name over here. And then, bank name. Anong pangalan ng bank mo? So, next is yung SWIFT BIC or yung SWIFT bank code. Now, every bank may SWIFT bank code yan. So, kung hindi mo alam yung sa'yo, then uh, mayroon akong bibigay sa yung site para malaman mo. So, here it is. Bank SWIFT code in the Philippines updated list 2021. So, uh, what to say? SWIFT code. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. So, since ako... Um, BDO yung gamit ko, ito yung itsura ng code, SWIFT code ng Banco de Oro. Uh, this is BNOR, which is the bank code, and then the country code, PH, location code, MM. So, yan yung mismong sa BDO. Now, kung hindi BDO ang bank account mo, then scroll down ka lang. Nandyan na lahat ng banks sa uh, Pilipinas na nandyan yung kanilang SWIFT code. For example, you are using Bank of China, Bank of Commerce, BPI, so nandyan po lahat, China Bank, nandyan po lahat ang uh, SWIFT code ng mga banko dito sa Pilipinas. So, tingnan mo na lang yung link dyan sa description. So, going back, uh, ikakopy ko ito yung sa BDO, so control copy lang yan sa keyboard, and then go back sa Google AdSense, then ilalagay ko ngayon dyan. There you go. So now, account number. Now, wag kayong malilito, iba po ang account number sa uh, card number. Okay? So yung card number, yan yung number na nakalagay dun sa yung e, sa yung card, okay? Yung bank account, yan po yung binibigay ng number sa bank account mo. So magkaiba po yung dalawang yan, okay? So kung kung gusto mong maklarify yan, you can of course consult your bank about it kasi baka mamaya ang alam mo lang is yung card number mo at hindi mo alam yung bank number mo so you might as well consult and get it sa banko mo ibibigay nila yan okay so let me input my account number once you finish na input yung account number mo i retype mo lang naman yan dito sa baba so copy natin and then retype there you go now pagdating dito sa intermediary bank or itong FFC or FBO uh, sa ngayon not necessarily naman sa atin yan so hindi mo na kailangan fill up an yan then click mo tong set as primary payment method so this will be replacing my western unions para makita ng google adsense ah ito na yung primary nya dito natin isend ang earnings nya sa kanyang uh, youtube sweldo click natin yan now before you click save okay Make sure na i-double check mo. Tama ba yung name on bank account, bank name, SWIFT uh, code mo, then the account number. So if you're confident na tama na lahat, then that's the only time you click save. So now, makikita mo ngayon ang primary ko ngayon na gagamitin para ma-receive ko ang aking mga earnings sa YouTube channel ko is now my bank account. Now, let me take you sa aking Gmail. Nung i-click ko yung save at naging primary na yung aking BDO account ko as my payment method, automatically nag-email na kaagad si uh, Google AdSense sa aking Gmail uh, confirming na yung primary payment method has been changed to my BDO account. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you won't miss any of our latest video episodes. This is Alan De Leon and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now and God bless everybody. Meanwhile, ang haba ng pila dito, kanina pa ako rito, na kailangan mawala silang lahat sa pila. Thank you for watching Alan Online TV. Make sure to like this video, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video episode.